Welcome back. Three super awesome things today. First up, this. It's not cast. It's 3D printed. I'm uh, just hold on for a few days. I'll uh, get back with more information and um, and uh, like who did it and how they did it and uh, like what, where and when. But uh, just look at it. It's a 3D printed cylinder of, of my design, so same as this one, but 3D printed. This opens up a lot of possibilities, a lot of things that's not possible with casting can be done with uh, 3D printing. And I'm amazed at how, how well it turned out and how, and how they managed to print everything, like all the cavities and stuff, which I really thought would be very difficult to 3D print in metal. But somehow they they did it, and uh, I'll be back with more information. But just look at it: a 3D printed in metal aluminium cylinder, just ready for machining and plating. It's amazing, just amazing. Second super awesome thing: the pistons from Mark arrived finally. First version had a stepped ring like a T-shape, for me at least, proved to not work too well and I I modified it with uh, just ground off most of that T-shape. If a lot of this doesn't make any sense to you, please go back and watch or scroll through and watch some of my other videos. There's a link to, uh, to a playlist up in the corner now and um, that sh should really help because uh, I'm basically building the most powerful two-stroke ever. That's the plan here. And um, I have a massive 100% of bore exhaust port and need a special retained ring for, for it not to snag. But, uh, so these first versions didn't work too well. After grinding off that T-section it uh, or parts of it, it, uh, it kind of worked, but we suspected there was too much volume behind the ring now. Uh, without that T-section and before that too. So, instead of having a T-shape to the ring, it's a normal flat ring, but there's a hole in it, in the middle of the exhaust port. And there's a corresponding pin in the piston that retains it, just like that uh, ground stepped ring. So these are made by Mark Atkinson, you probably knew that. Thank you again, Mark. If volume proves to be a problem, there's also a thicker ring, wider or thicker, however you want to see it. So you try that too. And also he's made two, two of the pistons with a step in here to take up even more volume. But yeah, really looking forward to, um, to testing with this. And, um, the honing plates haven't arrived yet, which is kind of, kind of a bummer because I really want to just hone the cylinder now and uh, and test the pistons, see see how they perform. We're almost to size here. It's a slight bit tight down at the skirt, obviously because it's widest at the skirt. So uh, it's just a little bit of honing. And I really would like to do that with um, the pressure plates, which are stuck in Chicago, it seems. But um, yeah, might just hone it without the plates and uh, plate this and hone that with the plates. Speaking of amazing, Thursday I drove across the country to pick up a CNC machine. I'm in a rental car, pulling a big trailer on my way to Bergen to pick up that CNC machine I've bought. Pretty cool. My rental car is a 1.2 liter beast of a car. And it's really underpowered. So I'm, I'm struggling now uphill with nothing in the trailer. So it'll be an interesting trip back from where I pick it up.
forgot to charge the camera before I before I drove off and I forgot to bring the charger so that's why there's no footage from picking it up but there it is finally it's now okay I think it's about four uh, maybe 4.30 in the morning so been on the road for 23 and a half hours now driving and there's still a little bit to go because I have to deliver the rental car and the um, trailer and then go to work yeah yeah a Denford Triac CNC machine converted to run Mach 3 I'll bring you over and give you a tour and tell you about the features and the things that's wrong with it now, which we will have to fix. It seems to be a pretty sturdy unit. It has an 8 tool tool changer, automatic. There's automatic oiling of the waste and uh, the screws if it works. There's flood cooling. And yeah, it just seems like a really nice unit. It's uh, cast iron thick castings so probably better than converting a small one of those small mills to CNC and um, and it's running Mac 3 I uh, it's dark back here but uh, the whole computer and all the stepper drivers and all that stuff is mounted here there's also uh, stuff for the auto tool changer in there and uh, the air system and uh, I think I'm not quite sure where that oil reservoir uh, is uh, situated. I'll have to look for it. Um, I'm completely, uh, I'm a complete noob here. I uh, this is the first time I'm uh, I'm running Mach 3, and uh, I all I know is that if I use shift and uh, and the arrow keys, the machine will jog the uh, the axis. The stepper motor on the x-axis is uh, broken, it's seized up. I think maybe what happened is because uh, the, the whole axis was seized, or it wasn't, but someone had uh, tightened the gib, like really, really torqued it down so it was the table wouldn't move. So I loosened that up and uh, now the table will move by rotating the pulley in here. So either they tightened that gib because there was a lot of slack. There's some play in the in the screw here, and maybe they didn't know it was like there's a little bit of backlash here, which I can probably take out by tightening the um, like there's a nut behind the bearings. Maybe they didn't know didn't know that and uh, tried tightening the gib <coughs> to see if that helped. And, uh, and that maybe burned out the motor. It seems to be a lot of corrosion in there though, so might be the flood coolant that uh, I've got to it. I'm not sure how I move the tool changer or how I initiate a tool change which is something I intend to find out but the spindle let's see if I can start the spindle here and you can hear there's something wrong in there so starting the spindle and it just stops so there's obviously something wrong with that spindle so I have to open it up and see what happened uh, what's going on in there yeah but this thing this when it's working it's going to be a game changer for me complete game changer now I can just machine up the, the stuff I want to make I've ordered a new motor I'm going to try to find out or you'll probably tell me in the comments how I'll find out uh, how I control that uh, tool changer and how to initiate a tool change there's probably a geek a G code for it I, I have to learn G code now But I'm really happy with uh, with it, and I got I basically knocked the, a third of the price because the noise in the spindle and uh, and and the motor didn't work and stuff like that. So, and I got a bunch of um, of tool holders. It's a BT35, which I've heard is uh, kind of difficult to get a hold of, but at least I've got a bunch. 
uh, so I just need some collets for uh, for this. I got a bunch of these things. So if I can get the right collets, I uh, and there's a lot of the lot of this. Let's see here. There's a lot of different sizes of this style where there's a set screw that uh, locks it in. So I should be set for 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 a lot of machining before I have to buy new holders. I think. I think we found our spindle issue. The brushes are... where's that missing piece? There. So this one's like broken in half and um, this one's missing some some pieces too. But now the sound is gone. I had to inspect the, the surface in here and see if that's... Uh, if it's marred up and that's what's causing this but... Uh, I think replacing these brushes would uh, help a lot. I'll just keep on working on uh, the machine tonight and uh, see what I'll find if there's stuff I have to order. I'm really not going to make this a project for this channel. It's going to be a machine for me to use to make parts. So I'm 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 going to try my best to not become a CNC geek that with the main focus on CNC. Really, I can't that can't be. <laughs> so so I'll just leave it with this and uh, this video was just to show you that I've I've got that 3D printed cylinder, the pistons have arrived and uh, I'll probably just hone the cylinder without those plates and uh, maybe with something else and uh, and get the engine started again because that's what we're all waiting for, to get that engine running with the new pistons to see if it helps, see if we can make some power. Okay, see you next time!